Freak nasty. What's up with the dude, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? What's up with the dude, dude? <laughs> Nikki, what's up with the dude? Yeah, yeah, I guess, the I do, guess she means this. The barnet. What's up with your barnet? Yeah. Uh, How many years have it been? I haven't dead since I was, you know, um, since I was a kid, like 20 years or something now. And I cut them. So people say, when's the last time you had a haircut? And uh, I cut them every couple of years now because once they get down to longer than about this, you end up sitting on them every time you get up. <laughs> <laughs> Always pulling, pulling hair out from underneath you. So, uh, yeah, I've had them for a long time and, and uh, it just kind of went up like this. It keeps it out of the way of it, you know, when I'm playing, which is good. And I don't know. I don't know. Fits what your what style, is that dude. It fits do? style. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. See, oh, if, I, oh, if I cut oh. them off, I'm gonna have to start playing country and western or something. You know, that people won't know. People won't know me. So. Yeah. Well, she, her other question was, she was a hairdresser, and she, if you never oh, need any help, okay, she, wanted right. to, she wanted to get contact. Oh, can you, you know? play it, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> you want to see that part? What's up with the dude, dude? I can hook you up. It's what I do. So, Nikki, you're a hairdresser. That's wicked. Maybe I could do with uh, you. Give me a number one all over, maybe a little crew cut. <laughs> One of them, uh, you know, one of them mullets. Give me a dreaded mullet, maybe. That'd be fucking cool. You know what I mean? So next time I come up, book me in, you know? All right. We'll get in do, touch we'll with do, us. We'll get yeah, in touch with him. We'll do and, something uh, cool. We'll do something cool. Thank you for the offer. <laughs> so that's why I like coming to Humboldt, man. Get an offer of a dreaded mullet out in the car park. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Ginger, and I want to know... Where did you get your name? Oh, we already covered that one. Hey, Ginger. Um, we did already cover that with, uh, it just, with, uh, Rad, was it Rad? Rad. Oh, nice sure. tattoos, Ginger. Wicked. <laughs> How do you keep your hair up like that? It's pretty fabulous. It looks like a dread turban. My question for Freak is how do you keep your hair up like that? It's pretty fabulous. It looks like a dread turban. <laughs> hey, Marsha. <laughs> kind of does look like a, a dread turban. turban yeah, I'm the, I'm the baseline terrorist. <laughs> no, wait, no, we can't say that word on the No, I mean, come 9-11, you know, I used, to, I used to wear my hair up like this all the time. I don't so much now just because I'm kind of over the grief of that it gets me walking down the street. Um, but I used to have my hair up like this all the time, and coming through airports around 9/11, I'm telling you, it, it was ridiculous. Yeah. I just people people would think think turban straight away, and back you know people think tur. I mean actually, turbans like Sikh. It's not it's not it's not even Muslim. So I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, yeah. but definitely a turban kind of vibe. Um, and it just kind of evolved, you know. I had to, as it got longer and longer, I had to find ways of controlling it. But I can't really tell you. Marsha, I can't really tell you how I do it or <laughs> But it doesn't come off. It doesn't come off. Alright. What would you do if zombies attacked? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> That's a very good question. And it's uh, one I contemplate often. Um, <laughs> no, we, 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 the name, funnily enough, it relates to uh, Gina's question about freak nasty and freaky nasty or, or being a nasty freak. That the, all the comics and stuff I used to be into that I got the name from 
it was all the 50 superheroes fighting zombies or aliens or zombies from outer space or that kind of shit. So uh, I'm, I'm well versed on fighting zombies, don't worry. You're going to go to like a Costco or anything to survive in a co Costco for the longest time? What would you do if the zombies came? Just run like hell? Costco? Oh, you know what Costco is? <laughs> <laughs> Costco is like one of those huge warehouse stores that just sells everything. So like, right. If there's a hurricane, I would, if a I would go down to Costco or, 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 and get my. You run to a Costco, man. That's where all yeah. the food, water, TVs, and radios oh, right. are. And batteries, I don't even go and get your pallets of stuff. Anti zombie spray or yeah, something. Oh, anti <laughs> from Costco. Wait, you don't carry your anti zombie spray with you? <laughs> we'll get you something for you. Hi, my name's Megan. And my name's Kaylee. And I would like to know what is your favorite dinosaur? Megan, what's my favorite dinosaur? That's a good question. My name's Megan. And my name's Kaylee. And I would like to know what is your favorite dinosaur? Megan, what's my favorite dinosaur? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, is it? Yeah, is that a good question? Yeah, I used okay, to I was making sure. I used to be into dinosaurs when I, you know. Every, so you're sci fi? Every, you're in the sci fi and dinosaurs and stuff like that? Not, yeah, not comedy really sci fi, or? but you know, every kid goes, I'm talking about a seven, Tom, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not, not like last week or something. No, of course not. A growing hood child. No, but you do. Know, you know, you know, I was a big fan of the uh, Stegosaurus, was awesome. And the, uh, what was the one with the little arms and the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The big, Dino big from Flintstones. Shut up, pointy teeth. It was the, uh, yeah, T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex are awesome. And what was the one with the club, with the big club tail? Uh, I don't know. Dude, come on! But we're not dinosaur fans Well, well dude, we're not last dinosaur. week either. We're in the same boat right, as you. Megan, that was a silly question. Uh, I'm not into <laughs> dinosaurs, I'm afraid. You did, you knew the dinosaur. She's got a question also. A little more on the serious side. Oh, wow, okay. And I would like to know what your favorite childhood memory is. Wow. My favorite childhood memory is deep. Playing with my plastic dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Get, try to collect comic books. Yeah, yeah, combine the two. That's uh, a hard one. Memory, you don't have no, to. I, mean, I grew up in New Zealand and I feel very like New Zealand's very similar to Humboldt County. You know, it's very green, there's not many people. People are, people are very down to earth and chill. And um, having lived in big cities for a long time, living in, in London um, and now being in LA a lot. I really appreciate that the wide open spaces and being able to just walk down the beach and and uh, you know I live by the beach in LA still but it's not the same you know when I go back to my parents' place in New Zealand they live up in the far north and uh, you go down the beach and there'll be a beautiful beach looking like like Bondi Beach or one of the beautiful beaches in Hawaii except there'll be three people on it all day 
And uh, it's kind of like that. that owning. We well. call it like you own it when yeah, you're there. You yeah, own the beach. You're in the most beautiful place in the world by yourself. That's yeah. where I get the term from this guy. That's why, you know, the reason why I moved up here, I'd visit this guy and he'd take me to the beach with his dog and we wouldn't see another person. And I'd like, coming from New York and LA, That's you're what like, I'm what's saying. going on here? Man? Yeah. So it's kind of, you, you get to, um, living in cities, you get starved of that a little bit. You know, anywhere you are in a big city within a certain radius, you're going to get a bunch of other oh. people all looking for the same thing. You know, we all, we all uh, hike out of the cities looking for solitude together. <laughs> you know, <I'm> <laughs> like, <laughs> places you like this. Uh, and yeah. in New Zealand, you can, you can actually get that still. So uh, that's one of the things that I love about, you know, for me growing up somewhere like this. Two questions. First one. What's your number? <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> Second question, um, I want to know about your foundation, if you're doing anything with it for 2010. All right, two questions. First one, what's your number? <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> Second question, um, I want to know about your foundation, if you're doing anything with it for 2010. Foundation? Hey, Christine. Can you have your phone number? <laughs> The answer to the second question. <laughs> first answer is I have a girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the answer to the second question is uh, um, give back. We're, we're redoing at the moment. We're rejigging the whole site and stuff. And in fact, if you go to it now to giveback.net, um, we've begun that process already. So what we're starting to do is um, reorganize the site so we can organize more gigs. I mean, we, start, we started off doing a kind of social network thing as well and doing the events out in the world, so we did the thing for the, for the march to Tibet, for the monks that, that were marching back to Tibet around the time of the Olympics, the Beijing Olympics, to raise awareness around China's human rights record. And uh, it was really successful, and I did the track with Bass Nectar at the time, and, and um, the whole thing, we raised like seven or $8,000 for them, you know, to keep them marching and to pay for their medical bills and lawyers and stuff like that. And the social network side of it is just too hard. And as, as you guys well know, that, that if you're competing with companies that have millions and millions of dollars to, you know, to, to make people aware of what they're doing, and uh, we found that we're more effective and um, of more use to people doing the gigs and raising money directly for causes on the ground. So that's where we're moving giveback.net towards at the moment. So any promoters out there that are interested in doing gigs for, for causes or have any artists that want to play gigs or give music for causes as well, get in touch um, at darren at giveback.net, D-A-R-I-N at giveback.net. And, uh, and hit me up, because we're going to be, through the summer, going to start uh, working on more events for all sorts of different causes to, to um, to get the site back out there now that we're kind of refocused and, and re-engineered it. Thank the more artists you get involved, the more fans that find out, the more money can yeah, be raised, man. Exactly. And it's right when you're so underground. And that's how, that's, how roots, that's how you stay organic, though, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, big time. And that was it, dude. Um, you know, this set isn't pretty. This is our edit bay. Uh, Humvee TV, for those who don't know, like him, independent. We don't have, we're not a corporation. We're just a few guys with a couple cameras and a Macintosh computer. We asked you before, Mac. <laughs> he gave the best answer to Mac and Windows. Check it out in our interview with him uh, just on the night before Halloween when you were on Arcata. That's airing on Humvee TV. This was just something we wanted to try. Uh, I had fun with it. I hope you guys did. Yeah, Thanks for coming by, man. Thank you. Cool. Awesome. Take care. Uh, anything else you want to promote? Uh, anything else you want to talk about? Do you have any future gigs coming up? Or anything else you might want to mention? Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. I haven't checked. I've hardly checked with my agents. Isn't I've taken a little bit of time off, so I'm just back in the... Uh, are you getting ready? To, are you available for gigs and getting ready to take dates? And yeah, I'm going to be in Europe for quite a while, I think, for over the first half of the year, so I'm not going to be here that much. Um, so that's it. You're uh, in Arcata, and now you just now it's a, no future plans to come back. <laughs> I will be back, I'm sure. You will be back, you know but it's what not we are booked at, yet. No, I think what we're going to look at is um, the, the summer full moon gig out in the mountains. So uh, You want that? You, that you, yeah, <laughs> let's so do that keep, right this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah let's, let's try and make that happen. So, yeah, yeah hold tight. Someone will announce it at some stage. It's going to be word of mouth only, so... Um, and if, you, and, if you, yeah, and if you want more information about Give Back, check the videos here on the page where you're watching this video. We're going to have a link to it. Awesome. Uh, stay involved. And anyway, Humby TV can be involved to keep spreading yeah, that word, man. Let us in because that's what we're about. Totally. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Wicked. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Cool. You brought a lot. You brought a lot. I awesome. appreciate it. Thank you. Can we get a shout out first?
Oh, yeah, for sure. That's not me. Just say, uh, hey, it's Freak Nasty. You're watching HumveeTV.com. Would you rather go outside, though, or you want it in here? You can do it in here. Okay, perfect. Hey, it's Freak Nasty, and you're listening to Humvee. You're watching. Yeah. You're watching or listening? Yeah, you're watching. You're watching. watching. It's Freak Nasty, and you're watching Humvee TV. Can you do one more? Hey, it's Freak Nasty, and you're watching Humvee TV. Perfect. Cool. Awesome. Cool, man. We got you done in time.